Capital of Cycling is a coalition of cycle-friendly community groups and individuals who are all working together to try and grow cycling in Bradford. We're a small recently formed charity, but we've already come a long way. Our aim is broadly to get as many people in Bradford on bikes as possible. The Capital of Cycling Hub is a fantastic space. It's an event space which different community groups and organisations can make use of. It's a storage space for many bikes, cycle clubs, youth groups, disabled groups, and for bike recycling. We have a maintenance workshop with public drop-in sessions and training offered. And most uniquely of all, it's also an indoor cycling track where people can learn safely and conveniently using our fleet of bikes. We work with lots of different groups. We work with Bradford Disability Sports and Leisure to get disabled kids on bikes. The disabled adapted cycles are many varied and wonderful. There's hand cycles for somebody without the use of their legs, recumbent cycles and trikes that allow those without a sense of balance to ride a bike. It levels the playing field so the disabled and able-bodied friends can ride together. We work with asylum seekers and refugees. We get them bikes, we teach them how to fix bikes. I'm from Sudan. I'm coming here for six months. I am happy because for bicycle, very good. I buy bike from here. Any problem happen to my bike, I come to fix it with my engineer, Muhammad. And this is my friend here. It's nice and, and not expensive uh, if you want to buy a bike or something. We've got to chop this end off so we can pull it right back. I came to work at the Capital of Cycling around about nine or ten months ago, which was fantastic as I'd been struggling to find work and this gave me an opportunity to do some work and actually to prove myself what I was capable of. When I first got here I didn't know much about it, but now I know how to do all sorts. I can change derailers, change brakes, I like fixing bikes, helping people, seeing people go off happier. I've got good people skills now. I've been able to roll on to actually being self-employed as a session bike mechanic and also as a cycle instructor. We organise rides, we work with groups that might be suffering from isolation or loneliness, recovering groups, youth offenders and the general public. Cycling's not just an elite sport, it's really for everyone. I'm here today because I wanted to learn how to ride the bike. The last time I rode a bike when I was a child, so I need to get more confident. I enjoyed the lesson today. I learned a lot about how to handle the bike. It's been really good, it's been very helpful, and I will be coming back next week. I developed COPD. I developed uh, sugar diabetes type 2 and asthma. Two years ago I ended up having MS. So coming here pushed me even more to get back on bike. So I decided to get a bike. I did about a mile and my lungs were burning. I stopped smoking three days later, I did 20 miles. It's affected my life by um, keeping healthy. I lost a lot of weight doing it. I've lost weight. I've increased my lung capacity by a litre since cycling. I'm back at work full time. I've still got COPD, but by stopping smoking and cycling, I more or less saved myself. Anybody can start from nothing and end up doing 30, 40, 50 miles. It's great to see young people come into the space and to be able to pass on that joy of cycling to them and possibly a little bit of knowledge which will allow them to go out and cycle safely and also to be able to maintain their bikes. We've come such a long way but there's still a lot more that we'd really like to achieve down here. We want to make Bradford a true city of cycling because a city of cycling is a healthy, happy city.